it's a record you don't want to hold. But with wildfires ravaging Greece, Canada and Algeria and simultaneous heatwaves searing the Northern Hemisphere, climate scientists say it's virtually certain July 2023 will be Earth's hottest month on record, following in the footsteps of an already record-breaking June. The era of global warming has ended. The era of global boiling has arrived. The air is unbreathable, the heat is unbearable, and the level of fossil fuel profits and climate inaction is unacceptable. Data released by the World Meteorological Organization and Copernicus shows 21 of the 30 hottest days ever recorded happened this month. Separate analysis out of Germany has estimated this month will finish 0.2 degrees higher than the current record set in July 2019. It's a figure that may not sound like much, but given it's a worldwide average, it means certain parts of the globe have experienced exceptional bouts of heat. Fueling wildfires and prompting locals to look for relief any way they can. Even Antarctica during its winter has contributed to the record heat with unusually high temperatures. And we're talking about temperatures of mid-40s or higher almost every day for parts of the heat wave over places like Italy and Greece. And that's just, that's abhorrent. That's really hard to cope with. It doesn't matter who you are or how fit you are. The blame is being pointed largely at rising greenhouse gas emissions, supercharging the localised natural warming forces. Now, it's likely that these heat waves probably would have occurred this summer, but they likely wouldn't have lasted as long or be as intense because of climate change. But climate scientists say it doesn't mean summer here will be a mirror image. There are local systems at play that exacerbate that climate change signal and uh, determine exactly when a heat wave will occur and where. So that's why we can't necessarily say that, yes, it's a one-for-one uh, relationship. Being the peak of the northern summer, July is the planet's hottest month in any given year because the northern hemisphere contains more land than the southern hemisphere. But with El Nino, a major driver in the world's climate, only just starting to develop, not even officially underway yet, according to Australia's Bureau of Meteorology, there are concerns this is only the beginning. The worrying thing here is that we've got a very warm summer across the Northern Hemisphere, but the effects of the um, emerging El Nino uh, haven't really been felt um, in terms of those global temperatures. And so when that does start to cut in, uh, we'll see actually a continuation of this extraordinary hot weather. A warning of more heat to come. Tyne Logan, ABC News.